Hello, welcome fiber friends and fabulous crafters. I am Crystal and today we're just gonna reminisce over last year, talk about the year to come. A needle felt a wee little star because I wanted to. Um, needle felting is fun and I started doing it with the tassel video and it's kind of addictive. It's like you work on something and you get outcomes pretty quickly, way quicker than like spinning or crocheting or knitting, but you know, smaller. <laughs> As I put wee little bits of hand dyed yellow wool into this wee little star, um, we will talk about last year. 20, uh, 23, I put out a lot of content and I want to change this year up because I put out a lot of hardcore tutorials, highly detailed, very matter of fact, and they're a lot of work. And those aren't the videos that actually did the best. So that's evidently not what you all want to see. And the videos that you liked more were the ones where it was a little bit more real life. More here's what I'm doing, not here's how to do this. And honestly, those are more fun to make. And I can relax and just get into the, the art of crafting without worrying about, am I doing this right? Am I explaining this so everyone understands? Is the speed of the footage good? And how the heck am I going to edit this thing? Because editing, editing is... I'm learning. I'm really learning. I, I, not that great. But I am learning and I am trying. Right now I'm just trying to make this thing look halfway level. And go for a flat star. So this coming year, I'm going to do a little bit more vlog style. And hopefully like a week's worth of my crafting into one video, which probably won't be too hard considering I do have a day job and a family and I can't craft 24 seven like I want to. So one week would make a lovely 20-ish minute video. You can get into all sorts of random, wonderful crafts, all fiber related. This upcoming, upcoming this year. At the end of January here is the annual Swashbucklers Ball, which my husband and I have been going to for, minus when they didn't have it, up to eight years. So something we do almost every year, really enjoy it. And this year, the hubs needs a different outfit. So we must make a lovely pirate costume for him. So I probably need to do more pattern gathering, but I was gonna make breeches like this, gathered um, and tied at the waist. So try to make it a little historical and not so comical because that's that's not how Scottish people dress. Um, just, just saying, I, I lived there, never saw that, but um, we can hook him up with a pair of pants that go pretty far down so we can tuck them into his boots. So we can tuck them into his pirate boots. Or um, he can tie them up around his ankles, well, above the ankles, um, and wear high socks and shoes. Different ones of that era. He also needs a new vest. Might need a new shirt. And I'm questioning the fact if I want to make pirate jackets or not, because if we do, I am making myself one. Um, I generally wear a corset, but this year I thought about doing an undershirt, have a little fun with it and do something kind of like this, but maybe not so far down. It does not need to be a dress over my skirt, but I could always do little pantaloons myself, not not sure what's going on here. I have 
really cool boots, so I don't need to do that. But this is fun that just is a little costume pattern. But do it out of a fabric that's more realistic um, to the era, like, you know, woven cotton. I try not to use too many synthetics. Oh, it's a chunky little star. It's, it's coming together. It's just kind of weird now. All right, let's see if we can put this little thing together where you can see it. So if there's anything y'all want to see in the upcoming year, because the pirate stuff will only be for January, and there's some color work knitting I want to get to. Some color work Nordic inspired mittens, because my bloodline is Norwegian. My great grandparents came from there. Okay, get that tacked down. I got it pretty much even, and now I'm just gonna work on the edges. This is really fun. You're just gonna want to stab things multiple billion times so yeah great way of getting the aggressions out and that's a lot of what I think about crafting and why I do what I do and I haven't really talked about why I do what I do that often um I craft for my mental health if I don't I might just go mad um so I work in a pretty high stress job other people's money and I've been working in other people's money since I really started my career. So, a lot of high stress there. And then I have a special needs kid who's he's super cool. Adore him. But he's a lot of more work than your normal. <laughs> what is normal? Not there, There's no such thing. But than your atypical child, I should say. Um, definitely a lot more work than my oldest, who is talented and gifted. Um, I don't know what normal is. It really doesn't exist. But don't lie. It looks like I'm going to scrub my dishes. Um, it does. It looks like a bristle pad type thing. It doesn't look like a star. I'm going to try to stab it without stabbing me now. I'm just trying to give it a little break right here. Put in the comments and let me know what you want to see. I mean, the only reason we had the tassel video is someone suggested it in the comments. Um, I've been suggested to make hats, but, uh, I, I just do pirate hats, so, um, pretty much all I've done is pirate hats. <laughs> Made several of them, but just, just pirate hats. And I do try to keep things more real in quality, which is why I spin. Spin and work with found fabrics more than anything else. Most of the year in videos that people are like, this is what I've made over the last year. And I'm like, I just can't do that. I've made a ton of things, most of which are not on camera, which is why I think I'm going to do more of the vlog style. This is what I'm working on things because there's a lot of stuff I make that you all never see. And I don't know why that is. So we'll have to fix that. I mean, like I knitted these lovely socks. Y'all never saw them. Yes, it was, it was store-bought yarn. The sock yarn. Two by two ribbing. One by one ribbing. Short worked heel. Started at the toe. No Kitchener stitching for this woman. Ha ha ha. So I made those last year. Okay, they still need to be blocked. I made tons of stuff. This is why I have a wee shop. You know, maddiemakes.com. That's why it exists is because I make so much stuff. I can't possibly keep it all. But I do enjoy making things for my mental health, right? I just can't keep it all because then you wind up with different mental health issues. So as I finish up this little star, and we can say twinkle, twinkle, little star, and let him set off is one of the first major projects in the new year. I forgot what type of sheep this wool was working with. I don't know what bag I got it out of. I just need to check the name on the bag. Okay, that one looks a little weird, but that's all right. It's fine. So January pirate content. February, let's dye some yarn or dye some wool and make yarn. Show you some more fun things I have to do with the drum carter. Or hand comb. Some lovely fibers. 
I have a lot of alpaca over there and some of it can only be hand combed because they're like nine inches long. Oh my gosh, the stabling is like nine inches long. And it's not clean and beautiful, so you gotta really work through it. So combs are best for cleaning and getting junk out of your fibers. So definitely use that technique there. Let me spin up some 100% alpaca yarn. I don't normally do that. I normally blend it. And then dive into real life things like my husband needs new shirts for work. Riveting, I know, shirts for work. But um, I make them some pretty professional looking ones. No one realizes that they're handmade or homemade. <laughs> so they ask him because my fabrics are a little funky. <laughs> which he likes. He likes having different fabrics and not looking like it came right out of the store. That's that. Um, I'd like to do a dyeing video for every holiday. Oh yeah, I just punctured him. Hold my finger. That's, yeah, that's riveting TV. Um, he's pretty much done. Stop touching him so I don't get him covered with blood. So, that's what we got laid out. Cute little chubby star. We can put them on whatever we want. Hang them up, make them an ornament. Just hang random things from my ceiling. That would be fun. Starting with him. We'll see what we get on. If I can find a little heart, we'll just do a felty thing every month. That's That would be fun. You will not stay put on this foam block. And then maybe, you know, we'll make more yarn because that was fun. There's a video on this one. Yeah, that's fun. Code for 15% off of my store is New Year's 2024. And I will see you next time on Maddie Makes.